Perhaps you have followed my experiments <coughs> that I did during the past days, the end of December 2020 and the first days of 2021. I was testing many capacitors, especially electrolytic capacitors. Uh, and there are two videos now on my YouTube channel about the, the circuit ways which I try to test them. My test results were, were uh, by the way, very good. And this was that first schematic. I only show it a few seconds here because it's uh, completely discussed in an earlier video. And I will give the link. A DC test and an AC test with a square wave. Here again that earlier video schematic. Again the DC test and the AC test. And what I wanted to tell now is that I have say um, told in an earlier video that many capacitors that I had many capacitors say stored uh, as if they were weak. And I found today that uh, I did uh, an, uh, another test. And I did not test them with a square wave, but with a sine wave. And with a sine wave on 100 kilocycles. Instead of that square wave on 200 kilocycles. Here is the generator that I use now. Here is the waveform. It's a sine wave. And the interesting thing was that I could test all these capacitors uh, with that sine wave on 100 kilocycles. And also found that, for instance, these very, very old capacitors, they were um, from the 1970s, I'm absolutely sure, were still in very good condition. They were made by Philips in those days. I'm abs absolutely sure about that. Especially this, these ones with that uh, yellow say cap. And here another one made by Philips. And about this capacitor I'm not sure uh, whether it was made by Philips. But this capacitor I'm absolutely sure that it was made in Italy, also by a very good brand in those days, in the 1970s, Ducati. Anyway, uh, I have hooked up now to my test circuit. Such an old capacitor, I will compare that 1970 capacitor with a modern capacitor out of this bunch. So let's see. Uh, at first always the DC test. And uh, the DC test shows us that it is still a capacitor. It has, uh, say, the behavior of two plates and um, a dielectric material in between, etc. So when you do the DC test, it's charge, you can see that, the charge falls back and then the AC test, but now on 100 KC and with a sine wave. Let's look here. That sine wave falls back to a very low uh, value. And I tested approximately 80 capacitors in this way. The capacitors that I have indicated as weak at first, at first sight. And this is the, a good way to test them again, retest them. Of course, always do the DC test first. And I want to refer to my earlier videos anyway.
So, this is the schematic that I'm using now, at the moment. 100 kc sine wave generator, uh, scope, test button, the 10 microfarad capacitor, and when the voltage drops from say to 7 volt, from 7 volts to 0.2 volts, my idea is that the capacitor is ok because I've tested approximately 80 capacitors and they all show that same effect and uh, when that voltage is too high, so you see a too high um, um, sine wave on the screen of the scope, uh, there is a higher voltage drop parallel to that electrolytic and that means that the ESR, so the resistance in this case, AC resistance on 100 kilo cycles could be a little bit too high. You can decide for yourself, uh, this is by the way, say, uh, the waveform that I always find on 100 kc in this schematic. Uh, we say almost all the 80 capacitors of 10 microfarad that I tested and also with other values anyway. That must be an indication that that capacitor is ok. So let's, uh, I've tested first this one from Philips. 10 microfarad, 16 volts, and I'm going to test now a modern capacitor, uh, 16 volts, 10 microfarad, that's here, hook it up to the test unit, take some time of course, and let's see what happens. Uh, with this modern, say uh, five years ago, bought five years ago, so it's a fresh electrolytic capacitor of 10 microfarad. And again, the waveform here. At first, we do the DC test. That's good. And now we test it on 100 kc. And we see that sine wave. That drop down from 7 volts approximately to a very low value of 0.2 volts. So this capacitor, this fresh capacitor of the 2000s has exactly the same test result as this old capacitor of the 1970s made by Philips. That's revealing, in my opinion. They made very, very good capacitors, electrolytic capacitors in those days. And the physical dimensions are also quite big here compared to such a capacitor or this capacitor. They are very small. This one is um, quite big. but. Surely the electrolytic inside this capacitor is healthy now, after, say, um, 40 years, 30 years, 40 years, still a healthy electrolytic. So no drying out, etc, etc. So, uh, very high quality, that's my idea, anyway. Tested them all, they all show good on the meter, they all are 10 microfarad. Here's a bunch of say um, 33 microfarad capacitors that still have to be tested. And here 4.7 microfarad that also have to be tested. They have undergone the first test on the square wave and also these ones. And I'm going to retest them anyway.
that was all more or less that I wanted to tell. So it's it's possible to test uh, these capacitors also with a sine wave on say 100 kilohertz I had to set the generator to a certain frequency where uh, this uh, effect popped up to its best properties.